All right, it's now 7 o'clock and, uh, well, this is Morning Express and it's time for the way it... No, not the way it is. It's time for Political Point. And right here in studio, in case you're joining us now, we do have a panel. We have Barack Muluka, who is the Secretary General for ANC. And we also have Honorable David Olesangok, who's a nominated member of Parliament. And, well, it's time for us to look at the Political Point, but not to leave things hanging. Uh, we did have uh, something that we left, and I think, Barack, you, I had... Uh, uh, promise that I'll give you a right to reply uh, to what Honorable Sangok was saying. And this is in regards to, and I think it's good to get the context right, uh, he was trying to get the point that the, for corruption to be dealt with, the courts also have to be uh, willing to ensure that that is done. And the example I believe you gave was the yes. fact that there are those who are poor but have been jailed very quickly, yes. expedited very quickly, yes. but those with money somehow are seems to delay. Uh, so, Barack Muluka, just to give you a minute to reply to that. Uh, first, I think uh, he's perfectly in order when he suggests uh, that uh, certain things have uh, gone through the judiciary very swiftly and uh, people have been jailed and uh, we also know as Kenyans that uh, certain uh, cases of corruption in fact, just uh, disappear almost like the, the river Wasongiro disappears in the Lorraine uh, Lor swamp uh, up there, Lorian swamp. You don't even know what uh, happens uh, to them. So to that extent, uh, he is right that uh, uh, the judiciary must also step up uh, to the plate. But uh, the examples uh, that uh, he gives, some of them are demeaning, particularly to women when he suggests that... Uh, against a uh, uh, spouse, against a woman, a wife, is uh, something uh, uh, s s small. Yeah, you know, you don't you know, go around slapping. You know, sometimes no, you don't, we, we, for a long we time. don't use you those kinds of... You have started of... by opposing newspapers. You know, sometimes this opposition mentality becomes... I believe if your wife brings uh, a basket, uh, bucket of water, You'll ask, uh, why have you put a lot of water Why should the, the wife be the one bringing the bucket of, uh, of water? Why, sh you want, you right. Gentlemen, why should you not be the one bringing Gentlemen, the water? Uh, Gentlemen, let us, let us move on to something else now. I want us to concentrate on something else, on political point. And from the destruction frenzy to the destructive claims of bribery in the corridors of the legislature, Wajir, woman representative for Tumagedi, has denied claims that she was at the heart of alleged bribery in parliament to have members shoot down the sugar report. Gedi is now demanding an apology from Kimilili Member of Parliament Didmas Barasa who claimed that Gedi offered 10,000 shillings as inducement to reject the probe on the sugar report. Didmas Barasa Mishimiwa I'm taking this matter far. He must apologize and bring evidence because honestly you cannot demean honorable members if what he's saying is true. Can I really bribe the majority leader with 10,000 shillings? You saw the majority leader oppose the report. You saw the minority leader oppose the report. The members who spoke and opposed the report, you saw them. As a member of parliament, what I did was to oppose the report. And when I mobilized, mobilization was everywhere, even in the floor of the house. The committee chair, Kanini Kega, was lobbying members, and it is normal, a member to lobby, whether if you see something is wrong or if you see something is right, it is normal. The, the chair of that committee was lobbying in the floor of the house. And that is what every member was doing. And that is what I was doing as a member of, of, of this house. But I did not bribe. There is issue of bribery and lobbying for your mem follow members to support or reject. And what I did was right. And this is not the first time members are doing this kind of things. All right, so members of parliament, it was alleged that some of them were bribed with 10,000 shillings, others 20,000 shillings, others 30,000 shillings. But just to separate issues, that mobilizing and canvassing is allowed and sometimes it happens, but not payment. Honorable, let's start by first of all, your thoughts on those accusations on some members of parliament. In fact, uh, this is an honorable house called parliament. If such things happened in Parliament, and that is why I call upon the committee on the House Privileges and whatever committee to make sure that they do investigation. And if possible, Honorable Justin Muturi, 
should actually invite EACC to investigate. Because I doubt if it is true. Because I don't see a member of parliament being bribed with 10,000 shillings. In, you, you in a motion. You don't believe it happened? I don't believe. In a motion that touches on the lives of Kenyans, of sugar that was claimed to have, can, uh, to have uh, mercury, lead and other heavy metals that can cause cancer. We have even very many members, we have lost members of parliament because of cancer. But we have very many members of parliament who are undergoing treatment of cancer. So I don't really believe an honorable member of parliament can really be bribed with 10,000, 20,000, even a million. As, as, as much as I believe where we are seated right now, the report has been shot down. It has been, you know, thrown out, and uh, as as where you know, we throwing where, down the report, where we are down the as report. Kenyans, we don't have any uh, names of the barons who brought in the sugar. Mm -hmm. Yet these are the gatekeepers. Shooting are... down the report is very different from bribery, and that is why I have said uh, we should actually invite the PSC reason why the two are so that so that first of all they investigate because if it is true, any member of parliament who is found to have been bribed and the one who have been bribed should go to jail. Because there is where corruption starts from. Uh, now, to, coming to your question. Uh, the sugar report was brought down because the questions that were asked were not answered. Because the first pertinent question that Kenyans want to, wanted to know was, is the sugar safe for human consumption? Does it contain mercury? And where are the lab results? And what is the amount of mercury that it contains or lead or that is what we wanted. And that is the question that Honorable Lesuda had asked. It was not answered. You have heard from the social media, Matiang first of all saying it had mercury. Secondly, it is moisture. Now, Kitwanga. Sugar plus moisture. You know, moisture is water. Have you ever eaten sukari kama anjugu? Or you must add water to become tea. Sugar with some water, and that is moisture, if it is left for a long time, will ferment and become alcohol. Alcohol is only harmful or not uh, advised for the consumption of children under 18. Okay, we'll come to the report. Let yes. me hear from Barack Muluka on your thoughts. On you know, to... I get very worried for this country because the gentleman seated next to me is an honorable member of parliament. And there's a, a sense in which we trivialize all these things and refuse to investigate and get to the depth of them because sometimes we think we are of certain political leanings. From the very start, as uh, ANC, we did not have faith in the capacity of parliament to investigate this matter and give us a meaningful uh, outcome as the citizens of this country. First, there are people there who are themselves importers of sugar, and we know who they are. If you are in doubt, go and find out uh, who uh, the interested MPs in Darasa, a uh, company called Darasa, and uh, whose ship is still at the port. As we sit here speaking now, because they are supposed to have paid about 2.5 billion, there are 14 companies within this report, which I have seen. I've seen the report. I've seen the recommendations that uh, it has made. They were given a very short time within which to undertake this uh, mammoth task. And while the report itself is a fairly weak uh, here and there, it makes certain recommendations that required being uh, followed through to the logical conclusion. But uh, members of uh, parliament had uh, in the main a preset mentality that uh, where reports such as uh, this one, if you have read it and you disagree with certain parts of it, you may even move that uh, certain uh, parts be amended, be deleted, or uh, something be added. There was completely no scope for that. It's a, a situation where the majority got there already having decided that uh, this was the position they were going to take. And I would not doubt that uh, some of them, some of them, uh, the gentleman said that uh, we should be keeping quiet uh, and listening. And um, I, th I thought that was a good thing you said, sir. So but you, you, can we... You, you do not respect... Uh, 
Can we can we allow allow him to finish? Then oh, of course you, I'll allow him. Respond. Him. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I think um, th there is a serious conflict of uh, interest uh, here. I do not know about the bribery claims, mm -hmm. but I know for sure that uh, there is a conflict of uh, interest uh, within the agriculture ministry, within the treasury. You look at these 14 companies that uh, were even uh, a minister for agriculture was asking the one in the treasury to give them the opportunity to allow their sugar in out of the uh, time that had been uh, prescribed. Something is awfully wrong, Something and I don't think uh, very right. finally, Mike. And, and now that Mike, you've mentioned, you've, you've uh, had a look at the report, uh, there are those who feel that the report should have been adopted despite the fact that it was a weak report. At least it was a, you know, a starting point. There are others who feel that the report was completely uh, weak and was a waste of time. They did not even read the report, and Parliament has got the scope, the capacity, to say that uh, let certain parts of the report be amended, be struck out, no, or, no, no, no. or whatever. You know the process, they did okay. not even the process, read the report. It. Right. The process of the Sambo. report. Uh, because if you say that we have not read the report, most members of parliament have read that report. I have previous information. And this report, we are, discuss we are discussing it the second time. The first time, it was brought. The question that was asked, and the terms of reference that were given to the committee, they had gone to change the terms of reference and started now their own terms of reference. Because if you broaden again, you may not actually answer the real question that we really needed. And I have told you the real question, because it was a petition from Honorable Lesuda. And the question from Honorable Lesuda was, is the sugar in our country safe? It, it, was, it was not even no, from Honorable no. Le, Le Suda. Please, let, let me give you please, the context. Please. All right, can in you, fact, you, can you give me time? We, he's now, misleading, we'll, we'll, now, now, he's now, misleading the country. Yes, we'll, 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 let, let us we'll, get it right. It was eh? brought the first we'll, time. Honorable Le Suda no, 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 in the no, no, first place. No, 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 we, no, no, my friend. We are, we are, we are journalists. Are to, 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 we observe these things you very closely. Honorable Le Suda was not even the person who came with this. The person who came with this thing was Honorable Soti. Godfrey Osoti was the one who asked for no, no, um, no, no, a, a motion to discuss the matter of the national question, importance. The question and was, the matter was, was uh, trashed. Eventually, somebody who, Barak, who, who, Barak, who is uh, interested in the Rasa Limited and who is Barak, very powerful I, I in Parliament that, uh, gave this opportunity to time. Lesuda. All right, and let's, Lesuda let's, came let's, with this matter. Let's, let's get the so facts let us right. not be yeah. misled. Let's, the fact is that it was the question the the uh, joint committee was to answer the question from Honorable Lesuda. I don't know which parliament is talking about. Maybe that parliament of opposition, because he, opposition have really affected his mind and his thinking. All right. Now, can, can we, opposition, can we, no, no, opposition is okay. legitimate. Can we, yeah. now, now, opposition now, is legitimate. It cannot be The first time it was brought into the house. The first time it was brought into the house. It who, did not who, the question. Who brought and it? Who brought it to the house? The, the co-chairs. <laughs> and it was, uh, it was Kanini. The, the matter, the matter. Yes. Who brought the question for the first time in Parliament? Now, can it, when the Kanini he was Karibu, the, uh, the Speaker of the National Assembly did not get satisfied with the report and asked them and extended their time so that they can go and research more and bring a comprehensive report. So, to me, I don't doubt members of Parliament when they uh, shot down the report. The because initial the report, report, the initial and even the second one, because the second one uh, did not actually answer the question that we wanted. Because the question, I'm telling you, they were answering the question of Honorable Lesuda, which was safety. Because Kenyans want to know. Nowadays, if you get a, a common cold, you think you have throat cancer. You go to the hospital. They, 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 they have, a, really they have answered that question. I have read the report. They have answered that question, although I don't agree with the answer that uh, they have given. They have stated that uh, the sugar which has been uh, impounded and uh, which is uh, unsafe. They have then gone on to say that uh, the sugar that is uh, on the market is safe, it's mercury free and uh, free of any other uh, elements impurities. and impurities. 
So they have answered the question, but uh, I would doubt that uh, they had the capacity to undertake the kind of survey that uh, was required. I even uh, take a, a, a exception to their thinking that uh, KEBS, which was one of the institutions that should in fact have been under investigation, then goes and brings a, a report and it says that uh, this thing is uh, safe. There are things mm -hmm. that are flawed within this report. Uh, but those are things that are needed, very clear focus within the house to have been discussed. You don't just take everything. So, so Barack, are you, are you in support of the report being rejected or should it have been adopted to some extent? They should with have the amendments? Uh, adopted that report with amendments. With amendments. Mm -hmm. Okay, and Honorable Sangok, you say that that report should have been rejected and you're in agreement that it was rejected. Yes, because the report itself was shoddy. And what we wanted was a comprehensive report. Where does and, that, and where what, does I support, what I support uh, Barack is by saying probably parliament lacked the capacity. Because the same people that want to be investigated are the same people that we rely information from, like CAPS. We rely information from CAPS. How can you investigate some uh, CAPS for allowing dangerous sugar into our shelves at the same time, you want them to give in, you information mm. of the dangerous sugar that they are being investigated on. So, for me, I, I agree with him that probably we lacked the capacity to investigate on this particular sugar. But it was very difficult to do amendment because it will be another full report. Because we will have, will have amended almost every, from point A to almost point Z. We will only le have left some small lines for what you have said. We are told the sugar that is in our... Uh, shelves is safe. Yet there were some sugars from, I think, the military. They found it uh, in, in the military with some traces of mercury. It is safe. Mm -hmm. uh, one in our shelves. All right. But, you Mo see? Moving forward, uh, Barack, your thoughts on the fact that legislators, first of all, on this particular report and maybe others, we don't know, seem to have slept on the job. And does this not fly in the face of what the president is trying to do? Here we are trying to uh, fight corruption um, in a uh, very... So absolutely, eh? and let me tell Kenyans uh, one thing, that uh, we are dealing with a very grave uh, matter which has been uh, trivialized. Because when we talk about uh, this sugar, and we are talking of uh, a period uh, starting around about uh, September uh, last year uh, to about the end of uh, that year, the list of uh, the people or the institutions that uh, were given the opportunity and imported sugar is in this uh, Kanini Kega report. And people are thinking about uh, sugar like the one we have in this tea that I've just taken and maybe I've just taken a dose of, uh, of mercury. mercury. <laughs> but when you look at that list, you will find that uh, the beer that you are taking Yes. is part of it. That the soda that you are taking is part of it. That the packed Cakes. juice that you are taking is part of Cakes. it. Because the importers range from Kenya breweries to Coca-Cola to Del Monte to I don't know who, a whole gamut across the board. So you are not even running away from it when you say, I will not take tea with sugar. With, uh, sugar. We are exposed in a very terrible manner, I would uh, appeal to Parliament to stand up to its calling and to stop trivializing this matter. But uh, ultimately, uh, we, we, we must consider the option of a, a judicial commission of inquiry headed by a respected judge, a sitting one or a retired one, and that uh, would have uh, dignified and respectable members on the commission, uh. people we can <clears throat> trust. And they should then bring on board others with core competencies uh. that can give us something that we can believe in. All right. Now, uh, Honorable Sangok. Yes, you know, it is very funny from Barak uh, Muluka. Uh, the issue of trust, how do you measure? Do you have a trust meter that you can measure Somebody you can, well, can you because can, if, them, they, if they gave us, us, us a reasonable much. report Let from me members of yes, parliament, then we can trust that what, what they say. That is what we want. 
or at the moment, the most trusted people are members of parliament. That's why they were elected. <laughs> no, 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 no. Let me tell you, it is the truth. On what it's a fact because they were elected. Why? Why? But, uh, but they have completely. Why Muluka was not in, uh, was not ele elected? They have completely. Because, because they had trust over their <laughs> opponents. So let, let let us not also. You know when so much also you. Honorable blame, blame. Sangok. On There's what a lot on, of things uh, that members Honorable of Sangok, parliament do. On, on what for this grounds country. do you make a statement that members of parliament are the most trusted? When for the last we've been talking about members of parliament being bribed 10,000, 20,000, 30,000 shillings. And as much as we may not have the evidence, if they were that trusted, Kenyans would come out to defend them. That that's not possible. And, 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 and you know, the people who have said you, that uh, you know, uh, Kenyan, they have been bribery Kenyans, have been of members Kenyans. of parliament. If when you, members of when, parliament... When you talk of Kenyans, we are also Kenyans. So, we, so on, what gra on what grounds no, do you say no, that no, members no. of parliament are trusted? Because they were elected. They were they had competitors, but their competitors were not elected. Who they were also trusted, but you know, don't also uh, demonize us. So, so there's much. betrayal. You know, you know, you know <laughs> there's when you betrayal, demonize, there's we, betrayal you know, in of every trust. institution, in every institution, even in this uh, KTN that you are, we are in, there must be one person who is a drunkard. There is another one with a thief. There is another one. You know, we have all these kind of people, and don't uh, demonize all of us. We are all of us that corrupt bad. and that corrupt. Some of us are very clean. All right, and, 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 Honorable Sangok, yes. if, if that be the case, then yes. they say that the proof of the pudding is in the eating. Can a report that has come out and Kenyans are satisfied that this has gone well? Looking at the last few days, we have the, the sugar report. Yes. And we know how that has gone. Yes. Can you give me evidence of reports that have come out and people are satisfied? We have the uh, Parliamentary Accounts Committee, even the last parliament that was disbanded because of you know, things that were happening that were not supposed to. How many committees do we have? We have... We've lost count. 20-something committees of parliament. We have the Labour Committee that I am in. We have investigated so many matters, including NACMAT employees, SAGA, uh, the SSF, uh, uh, NYS, in which we even took some money from NYS and took that money to NITA because of the corruption that has been happening in NYS. We are the ones that recommended the sacking of the PS of NYS and uh, subsequent prosecution. So many good things that come out of parliament. But the problem is that this simple one particular uh, uh, report, which is just from one committee or the joint committee of parliament, then you have uh, demonized the whole parliament together with the parliamentarians. Uh, do you know how many laws come out of parliament on a weekly basis? That assist all Kenyans. Do you know the legislative framework? You know, we also do some good things, my friend uh, Ketonga. Mm -hmm. So, uh, we are an institution. We have to accept that there are some of us who are corrupt, who came there with an intention of probably even importing sugar. There are those who are in the list of uh, sugar importers, but I, I'm sure Rai is not a member of parliament. So yeah, I'm but uh, when uh, he arrived, you are taking selfies uh, with him, it's like a, a judge, uh, someone who is uh, accused mm -hmm. appearing before a judge, and so, the judge is so excited. So he, Sangoko was taking he, he comes and starts. Uh, no, no, no. Sangoko was taking felt. No, well, I will, I'll find no, no, out. I, want them, uh, well, I, I will find out. I will investigate. <laughs> I am never met Ryan. I'm not you, even in that you, list. You, you I thank God for that. Into that thing as friends, <laughs> no, no, friends no, no, of the no. of the committee. Those people who investigate. You overwhelmed the committee. No, no it was uh, it was actually uh, wrong for that kind of relationship. But let us also remember that when we are investigating any officers, public officer, we call even the cabinet secretaries to come because our role is oversight. We are necessarily enemies of those people. We are not enemies so, of so all... Start, uh, uh, no, 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 the... taking selfies. You know, I have told you, in every institution, there must be uh, bad people and good people. And in parliament, Good people are more. All right. I think let, let's focus now on this particular report uh, because that's where we are at. And let me start with you, Barak Muluk, as we uh, begin to wind up. What is it that you'd expect to be done? Because here we, ha we are now, uh, Kenyans wondering what next because the report is out. It has been trashed. We are still unclear as to whether the impurities in the sugar, whether it is safe for consumption, and more importantly, whether even this can happen again. It's not whether it can happen again, as I have uh, just uh, demonstrated 
there is a list there of upwards of 100 importers. And that this sugar has found its way into your body through one mechanism or through one food product, one consumable or the other. It has not come in through beer or through yogurt or uh, through uh, of, of, uh, soda. It has come in through some other mechanism. We are dealing with a very serious issue that uh, I have called a grave issue. So Parliament has done its thing. It has rejected the report, it's thrown it overboard, it has uh, concluded uh, on that negative note. The problem persists, it does not go away and it must be addressed. We must explore other ways and means of dealing with this matter. Right. And uh, as uh, ANC, we said always from the very outset, let us have a judicial commission of uh, inquiry that is um, uh, competently sourced and competently populated. And I would, uh, in earnest, plead with uh, my good friend and uh, brother. You know, David Olesangoki is actually my friend. I would plead with you, my brother, not to treat uh, this thing no, you, and you, to you. allow it to... Okay. Mm -hmm. Allow him to finish. Okay. Yeah, finish. allow this country to come to grips with the truth. And let those who may be found culpable be dealt with in accord with the law. Okay. Sango. Gitonga. You know, <coughs> I still insist, let us not demonize parliament. Because the way it's insinuating is as if we will not do the right thing. But remember, first of all, the issue of Sarah Serem. Sarah Serem was the greatest enemy perceived by the public of parliament. But we say it. Despite us having some differences, this particular Kenyans is qualified to be appointed. That is the diversionary. Listen, no, no, no. I'm, Come just, back to I'm just saying what, what, you know, when you demonize also members of parliament, and they are doing so many right things. You remember also Ben Chumo. No, we are, we, are to, we are talking about the right, a very specific, the right, uh, serious okay, matter. But specifically to, yes, to because of time, to manage time, yes, specifically yes, yes, yes. with the sugar report. No, no, Let, Let's stick to the... Yes, yes, even that is related in the sugar report. Because as parliament, we said Ben Chumo, despite the fact that he's a friend of the president, he's a friend to the deputy president, he has uh, done a lot in Kenya, but already his case is in court. And we decided. No, no, no. What, what president, do we do about And we are this, members of parliament. This issue. We are members of parliament from Jubilee. We will not stop. All right. Way forward. Way forward so, on, okay. on the sugar on this report. Issue. Way forward. First of all, uh, independent judiciary, uh, the independent uh, judicial commission of judicial inquiry, commission of brother. inquiry is okay. Your English is okay. As far as Barak uh, Muruka, it will not be one of them. So that they will not be <laughs> suggesting. They will not be suggesting. <laughs> uh, some judicial uh, of inquiry commissions for, for their own soft landing spots. Because I know Mdavadi. I know him. He's, he's party leader. How, and there was a how has Mdavadi there was a, come into there, this now? No, no, uh, I'm saying, I'm saying because they are pushing on this issue hmm. so that they can have a, some, a, some salary. But you think then it's a good idea? It is a good idea. Okay. So we, we leave but those who appoint them no, to appoint them. Listen. Yeah, of course they, they will be appointed and uh, the, the house that will appoint them, then they will appoint them. So, <clears> at the moment, Parliament have not failed in investigating this sugar issue. The report has been brought, it has been trashed, and the Speaker of the National Assembly will come up with an idea. Probably have a joint com uh, committee, uh, probably have a committee of health investigating the safety, mm. have a committee of uh, uh, trade and industry investigating the issue of tax compliance, so that we don't overburden one particular now, committee if, of if, we, we, Looking at, uh, you know, way forward, uh, mm. Honorable Sangok, yes. what would you tell Kenyans in regards to the fact, here we are today, still not sure whether the sugar is laced with impurities or not, because like you've said, the question has not been answered. But to avert this, what are you, as a member of parliament, promising Kenyans? First of all, I want to tell Kenyans, and this one is sincere from uh, my heart and what I think. I hope so. Sugar does not have mercury. Uh, or yes what, what would you you've just told us you meant you're contradicting yourself on no, I'm not because you said that according to the report that question has not been answered so where do you get that answer from that is why i'm to, i have told you from my independent thinking 
it is very difficult <laughs> for mercury <laughs> to be sugar. Because even if you are a businessman, <laughs> you can't mix uh, mercury and sugar. You, you, know, you, know, you know, so that you can sell at the price of at the price of sugar. No, no. And again, yani, yani, from me, I'm I'm talking of my own independent thinking. It is very difficult but for Sangoff, sugar the reason why the reason why you're a member of parliament is so that should an issue like this come up you go through whatever needs to be done to confirm that it is does not have you cannot Mike, do that based Mike, on what you uh, do. you know why they are beating around the bush and not answering the the question is because they have lacked evidence that this particular sugar have mercury you know kenyans are, are also anxious and they should actually start knowing and having confidence in our our our, our sugar and our sodas and what have you you know the reality is that this to me sugar does not have mercury okay to you but what are you promising kenyans with? what i promise kenya is that we will discuss in parliament i will also insist with the speaker of the national assembly if it is possible the issue of safety and health effect of sugar the imported sugar should be given to the committee of health but i think kenyans would be worried if their member of parliament feels that there's no impurities yet there has been accusations that there, there is impurities and you do it based on how you feel not based on evidence or facts because the committee that we had given to go and investigate and bring us th those facts and lab results and test that it contained trace of mercury of this level we have not gotten that, that, that particular report. You know, it was uh, astonishing for even uh, uh, the CS of uh, Interior, Matiangi, who is in charge of our safety, to go on media without any tangible evidence and claim that what we are taking is poisonous, is killing right. us. You know, when you are bodyguard, when there is any, uh, any, any scaffold, and your bodyguard is the first one to scream, you will die. If the one that is in charge of our own security is the one screaming over the media because of PR and because of uh, media attention that you guys are dying of mercury. And in charge of our All media right. security. Barak Muluka, your closing comment. You know, that, that's anyway, thank you for the lecture. Uh, go and read the report again, uh, which you haven't read. I know you have changed and, your uh, And you are going to agree that there are some very serious recommendations it makes and which should not have been cast overboard. For example, the committee recommended that uh, the government bans importation of sugar that has not been uh, packaged. It is, of course, possible that uh, sugar could be packaged uh, out there and get here when it's already contaminated. But think of uh, the way this sugar is being handled. It's coming uh, completely unpackaged, just uh, loaded uh, into containers, and it gets here. Uh, if but the bigger issue is that uh, we do not even know the expiry date of uh, that uh, sugar. It has not gone through the necessary processes. It's just arrived as uh, stuff like that uh, from uh, offshore. Mm -hmm. Anyone who has uh, imported goods uh, into the country will tell you about uh, very stringent uh, uh, measures and standards that have got to be met, including how it is packaged. So it is possible that uh, we are getting sugar whose uh, consumption sell by date has uh, long lapsed and somebody is packaging it and uh, giving it labels and selling it. Uh, that is a matter not to be just cast overboard. The report also recommends uh, against uh, uh, importation of uh, semi-processed, uh, which then is supposed uh, to complete the process uh, within the country. This should not have been thrown overboard. It recommends a further investigation of certain ministers, certain other officials, and this should not have been cast overboard. There are serious issues. My last one is a, a plea to the legislators. Please, you are the highest assembly in the land away from uh, the cabinet, which is chaired by the president. And Kenyans have invested trust in you, as indeed uh, the Honorable David uh, Sangok says. Do not abuse this trust. Please take your legislative, your, your um, uh, uh, oversight uh, responsibilities mm -hmm. and uh, your representation issues and responsibility with the seriousness that it Thank you, gentlemen. We'll have to wind it up right there. Barack, Secretary General for ANC. And I take them positively. 
And by the way, before even I was uh, nominated, I had been taking those advices. And Honorable yes. David Olesangok, who's a nominated member of parliament. Gentlemen, thank you for joining us this morning. And that's where we end Political Point. But Morning Express continues. We take a short break. We'll be right back.